From the family grocery hauler to fire-breathing racing engines, the one name you need to know is USA Motor & Machine, located at 51 Cleveland Avenue in Nashville, Tennessee. Give them a call at 615-726-3725 or at usamotorandmachine.com. Jeff Meeks and Chris Austin invite you to watch your favorite sports event at the Batter's Box at 43 Hermitage Avenue in Nashville, Tennessee. The Batter's Box offers shuttle service to all Titans home games. It's a great place for friends to gather for the game and after the game. So check out the Batter's Box Bar and Grill, and thanks again for sponsoring the show. Howdy, everybody. Today's guest is Dave Stroud, a world-renowned vocal coach, teacher, trainer, and entrepreneur. He's also the founder of Vocalize You, the most complete and advanced singing app on the market today. Today's show is brought to you by locally owned and operated Highland Rem Speedway. Highland Rem Speedway is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year with great short track door-to-door -door stock car racing in a safe, family-friendly atmosphere. Visit their website at highlandrim.com. If you're looking to learn guitar, check out Dave Isaac's Guitar Studio on Music Row. Whether you are a beginner or hobbyist, to professional songwriter or artist, Dave offers a unique and powerful method of instruction that teaches not just the instrument, but the whole musician. Find out more at NashvilleGuitarGuru.com. Microcasting for your city. Talkopolis. Howdy, everybody, and welcome to Music Business Week. We have an awesome guest today, the one and only Dave Strad. He is coming to us live from Los Angeles via the internet, a little thing called Skype. Dave is one of the most sought after teachers in the nation. He, a list of his students, CeeLo Green, Frank Ocean, Natasha Bedingfield, and some people who are so famous we can't even list them. Dave, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. Um, tell us, how did you develop your technique and what sets you apart in your technique from other teachers? Um, the technique is really something that's taken years of um, study, uh, being involved in education, teacher training, refining that, going back to the drawing board, making mistakes, trying to live in an open environment where um, new information comes in, you can make adjustments to what you're doing, and new science comes in, understanding you know, of how the voice works, the form, and some vowels and vowel tunes and all this stuff. So you take it that into account. You try to live in an environment where it's okay to make mistakes and come back to the drawing board. And, and, and out of that comes more and more refined process for helping uh, singers achieve their goals. Were you a singer yourself? Uh, years ago. Uh, I stopped singing probably 15 years ago. Um, I used to play in bands. I mean, I listen, I wanted to be a rock star. So... You know, at a, at a young age, maybe 14, 15, I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to be a rock star. So I played a lot of bands. I pursued all that. Um, and there was just a moment in time where the energy shifts from I want to be a rock star to, man, I really like teaching. And, you know, everything shifted from that point on. It shifted. And, and maybe 15 years ago, I stopped performing publicly. When you were a singer, did you practice vocal techniques yourself? Yeah, you absolutely. Did. Yeah, I, like I said, you asked me where you know, the technique comes from that I teach, and it comes from years of studying. It comes from years of going to this teacher and that teacher and picking up things from different people here in the U.S. and, and in Europe and other places that I've studied and um, rolling that up into something that works. And then again, being open to being wrong and being open to changes and things like that and we're trying to refine. So, yeah. Now, you worked with Michael Jackson when he was preparing for his This Is It tour, right? I did. Um, so his teacher, the main teacher he's had all these years at Leave Town, so, um, his teacher in Kenny Ortega, who was over the This Is It tour, had me come in for, mm -hmm. I guess it was two or three weeks um, right before all of it sort of ended. Wow. What yeah. with a person that, who's as phenomenal a singer as Michael Jackson, is it ever, I mean, it must not be intimidating to you. You figure, you figure there's always improvements to be made, but what was it like specifically working with Michael? It was intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was intimidating. That's all there is to it. Um, and, and, you know, great singers um, across the board continue to work on their voice. I just, they do. I mean, you know, singing is like being an athlete. It's it's not like learning to play the piano and then once you have it down, you've got your voicings and your chords and you know how to play. 
you're done. You just go out and gig from that point on. Um, singing is a muscle. And it is, my, my job is really more like a personal fitness coach for them, for the voice, than it is somebody who teaches them to sing. I, you know, I didn't teach Michael Jackson to sing one second. Okay. My job was to help him stay in shape and get ready for that tour. Um, and, you know, even with that, um, you know, it was great. It was an honor. It was something that comes along, you know, one in a million people got to be in that position and I'm grateful for it. But um, I contributed a little bit and to be completely honest, I contributed a very little bit to the overall picture. And it, you know, it's more of an honor for me to have been there than, than, than probably what he gained from me. It shows a lot about who he is as, as an artist and a lot of these famous people that, that they are so willing and open and would come to somebody like you and, and be willing to continue to work on, on, on their voice. Well, and his main teacher is the one he really relied on, and that person left town, and of course he just wanted somebody to fill in. And I was a substitute teacher for a couple of weeks is really what I was. Oh, so, wow. <clears throat> was cool. um, the app that you've created, Dave, is one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen in my entire life, and I'm going to get it immediately uh, for my husband who wants to work on his voice over voice. Tell us about this app um, that you recently launched called Vocalize You. What inspired you to create this? Um... I think, first of all, I'm a, I'm a geek. I'm a nerd. Uh, I love technology. Um, I love um, electronic gadgets. And when I got an iPad, the first iPad that came out, I started playing with it. I had helped design a vocal program for American Idol years ago, or, or a, a vocal program that American Idol co-branded. And, and um, it was really cumbersome. It was DVDs and CDs, and you had to record on a cassette and play that back and compare the voices, and it was just, it was cumbersome. Um, and the concept was good, but it was cumbersome. So when I got this, I thought, you know, I should go back and look at some of the designs I've done with vocal programs and see how this would fit in with this. And some of it that I developed in the past kind of fit, and then it sort of inspired me to go further and try new more things and, and create a more expansive uh, vocal program where um, with the new mobile technology you can really offer a lot and you can deliver great vocal education or music education worldwide uh, in a way never done before and, and we built an app where at the time most apps that were being built were these really light 99 cent kind of apps and I spent a year programming this and um, you know, it's obviously a much more expensive app than 99 cents but we also spent a ton in research and, and development and, and, and we build it from the ground up being modular so we can keep adding on to it. So we add new features to it constantly. Uh, our new model comes with the desktop, laptop, and actually Guitar Center is carrying it in software boxes so you can buy it straight from them. Um, but it has all sorts of educational um, text components, ear training, sight reading, all that stuff built into it. And we just continue to add that stuff. God, I'm, I'm so impressed. I can't tell you. Let's watch the teaser that you guys made for the Vocalize You app. This teaser features uh, Jordan Sparks. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm Jordan Sparks. Are you ready to vocalize you? Whoa. Did you collaborate on this? I mean, were you actually the programmer? Uh, no, I can't. I can't actually program language. I design basically, I have a team, and I sat down at the very beginning and what I would call wireframed. I wireframed it up myself. And then I sat down with, uh, I have a vice president of product development who's uh, good with all coding and things. And, and trust me, um, you know, uh, building technology is kind of like, have you ever built a house or had contractors come in and work on your house? Yes. It's like that. 
they know more than you and they will tell you everything and you don't know if they're telling you the truth or what. And I hired coders out of India. I hired coders all over the place and got nowhere. I mean, I had to throw away the first $50,000 in coding and start again. And, uh, and then I just found, it's so funny, you know, fortuitously, one of my students walked in one day and said, what are you working on? And I showed him. He goes, oh, I, I can do that. <laughs> I gave him an assignment. I said, make me a metronome. He came back a week later with a metronome. I went, okay. I handed him the whole project, and he rebuilt the whole thing from the ground up. That's amazing. Some, something else amazing is that if you're a, vo a vocal teacher in the United States or anywhere, I guess, you can actually become a certified Dave Stroud Vocal Studio teacher. How does your teacher training program work? Well, it's, it's uh, not through the vocal studio. It's through the company. My company is called DS Vocology. And Vocology provides um, Vocalize You, which is events. We do winter retreats, summer events, all sorts of songwriting, um, things like that. And then we have a teacher mentoring program. We have singer mentoring program. We have the technology. We have the vocal program, all that sort of stuff. Alongside of that is a program called VIP, which is Vocology in Practice. It's the Vocology is the method, and the instructors that study it um, become VIP instructors. And we have an online uh, directory, so singers from all the world, even from the app, you can click on the phone in the studio and you can... Um, you can schedule time with one of our voice instructors. That must be so. really, really popular. Um, we're, we have a clip actually from this past summer's uh, workshop. So let's take a look at the clip that happened last summer. excited and feel so fortunate to be a part of such an amazing program like I'm baffled it's beautiful here like it's um, just refocusing myself and reminding myself why I'm here I think I focus a lot on the musical aspect of things and I'm quite introspective and I think places like LA and stuff although people may say it's superficial it's good for people like myself I didn't have all of this when I got into the business in 1989 so it was truly a pleasure for me because I know as an artist myself it can be kind of scary to come to uh, uh, a retreat like this is, it really says a lot. This is my first year doing this event um, and seeing all the kids that came from like Mexico and like New Zealand. I mean, I was, I was amazed. As, as an artist myself, I, it's always a great to be encouraged and to hear different things from different people. So um, if I can give back to the community and give my, put in my two cents, you know, to these young artists, I'd love to do it. Localize you. Wow, that looks so fun. That was last summer, but you have a winter retreat coming up as well? Yeah, so the winter retreat is um, not meant to be intense. The summer program is intense. So it's 7 in the morning, they get up, they do fitness, they work on whatever it is, songwriting, dance, everything up until midnight. Performances, they have to do a show every night. Uh, and the winter retreat is really meant to be a retreat, so... Um, the attendees come, we do morning meditation, they have breakfast, and then we go into classes for songwriting, performance anxiety, performance psychology, um, group development, um, songwriting in the round. Um, we have different people come in to do improv, to teach you to, to work on improvisation skills. Um, but it's really meant to be a retreat, so that in the evening, instead of everyone performing, we bring in guests to the um, house concerts. So... We'll bring in, um, right now, Pat Leonard is confirmed to do the first house concert. I've got the other two sort of lined up. I can't say who it is because it's not confirmed yet, but we have some really cool people coming in doing house concerts. And just basically they play piano, guitar, whatever, 
and talk about the songwriting process, talk about inspiration, motivation, all that sort of stuff. And these are really established, cool singers. Wow. I mean, um, it's so wonderful to have this network in place now. You know, when I started singing professionally 20 years ago, you had to work all this stuff out in a smoky bar for 10 years to figure, you know, to really kind of get in touch with a lot of the stuff. Now you have it not only all in your program, but on this phenomenal app. I mean, I feel like this app is life changing for singers. Thank it you. It connects I, I, everybody. You know, you could live in some far off place and. And, and because you've got um, all kinds of stuff, but you can actually record your own voice. You can load it into iTunes, right? Um, you can send it to your vocal teacher. The app is designed to allow individuals, once they're part of that, to be part of a network. They're part of this community of vocalized youth singers, and then they can attend live events um, and, and meet really what it would be like if you were living here in L.A. and you had access to these really high-end educators or songwriters or artists um, it allows access to their knowledge. We're sort of a portal for for this information out to the world. And there's two versions, so you can get the free one, right? And then, or you can spend. There's actually, yeah, there's actually three versions. There's a free one on the iPhone. There's a iPad version, and then there's a desktop, laptop, PC, and Android version. And they're different price tiers. The the desktop is sixty nine. The iPad's 39 and the, the iPhone is free, but all of them have different levels of information and knowledge and, and um, tech uh, um, uh, modules built into them. Right. Well, your talents used to be reserved for the elite, famous people who could afford to come and take advantage of your vocal techniques. Now everybody can. It's a miraculous yeah. thing, a grand accomplishment. Thank you so much, Dave Stroud, for being here on Music Business Week. I hope you'll come back and share some more stuff with you, maybe at the winter retreat or something like that. Absolutely. I'd love to do that. All right. I'm Greta Gaines. Thanks for watching right here at Talkopolis. Microcasting for your city. Talkopolis.